Welcome to Trivia Night! A gauntlet of- Yeah, who needs rules? Let's get on with it! Okay now, first question. Del Close was the guru of what art form? Use your device to answer the question. The answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. 
I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best ice cream flavor? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Come on! Less righty righty and more sendy sendy. Answering was not optional. Your silence speaks volumes. Here's how everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. Next question. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Just got a text from my niece. Uh, what does SMH mean? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. One. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lame. Let's try another one. In which German city is Oktoberfest held each year? Yeah. said this the rest of you who are still alive let's play a game hey girl welcome back to the killing floor it's time to use your words use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out this is actually how William S. Burroughs wrote some of his stories, but I guess that's not really important right now. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Word time, go! The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Let's see what you could come up with. A tie? That's not good for anybody. And you're dead. But keep playing and I promise you can still win. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, <sighs> someday. Since I spent so much on it at Michael's, let's check that scoreboard again. Oh, and let's see how the audience is doing. Off to a real good start, audience. I've got more questions for you. Not that she should be defined solely by this, but... What kind of fruit is in Miss Pac-Man? Time's 
Turning out! And the correct answer is... This! Very good! Alright, next question. Queen Elizabeth II married which hottie? The correct answer is... This one! Everyone again, you all need to be taught a lesson. Isn't it about time for some fighting? You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. I hope you all like violence as much as I do, although that is pretty much impossible. Just like you to throw up your emotional shield, and your literal shield. But since no one attacked you, it's time for your punishment. You can check out the full explanation of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Well, unless it's been hacked again. Thanks a lot, Anonymous. If that's your real name. And it really just makes you feel so helpless when that happens, but, you know, what are you gonna do? There are just bad people in this world. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you've made it here alive! But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Movies with talking animals. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. out of the shadows. Cars made by Kia. challenging enough. The darkness approaches. 
cartoon characters with mustaches.
your whatever because here comes quiplash I hope you're ready because there is literally nothing writing on this time for round one you'll see two prompts on your device answer them any way you want each answer will go up against someone else's answer and everyone will vote on which they like most it's simple you score based on the percentage of players who like your answer plus there are winners bonuses at stake go Think of something. Time to share. Starting us off, the biggest problem with the last Star Wars movie. Okay, vote for your favorite. Bartender asks you, blank. Ready, set, vote. blank as memories. Uh 
Up next, a terrible place to dump grandma's ashes. Vote on your devices. one. The reason everyone loves Tom Hanks is blank. Coming up next, a name for a dating site for people over 80. Time to vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Ah. Round two time and look sharp because I'm doubling all the point values. Running out. Use a safety clip if you need it. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. First off, the last sign we'll get before the apocalypse. Next in line, a rejected section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus blank. And next, the worst part about having a boyfriend who's secretly a highly advanced robot. Float away.
And next is the title of a new portrait of your dad. Get to voting. Okay, next one. A weird thing for Peyton Manning to endorse. Put in your votes. Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. <laughs> Round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. <laughs> Complete the comic. And here's what you did. In this round, you've got two medals to give to your two favorite quips. Choose wisely. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Here's the silver. And gold. Let's melt those medals down for points. All right, that's it. Time for the final scores.
Smitty, listen, I slept on my neck funny again, but don't worry, I'm good to host the game. Ow, ow. I'm okay, I'm okay. Only one of you can win the game, but all of you have my respect. Most of you have my respect. This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Use the <laughs> Let's take a look. First one. Who is currently the 5,492nd ranked player in professional tennis? Okay, choose your favorite. scammed when the puppy you bought at the pet store turns out to be blank. And vote. is why is the red panda so red okay vote Next in the hopper, the worst 
donut in the world is filled with blank? Vote now. Rejected title in the Magic School Bus series. The Magic School Bus goes to blank. It's voting time. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, here we go. Number one on the list, the only thing you can remember from inside the womb. Okay, pick your favorite. On the list. Breaking news scientists have just discovered nature's fiercest creature, the blank shark. Time to vote. thing to hear after yelling hello into a deep cave. Put in your votes.
Coming up next, who's the boss? You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Make up the full name for this acronym. All right, here's the board. Give out your medals now. Raise yourselves, here come those medals. Bring out the silver. And finally, gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you. Okay, let's see those final scores.
Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and due to contract obligations, I'll be your host tonight. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, it's skippable if you're one of those people. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's gonna get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Please remove all personal items. This includes condiments, lunch containers, and the frozen Hitler brain. Thank you. Let's leave it in. Here I go, mopping the floors. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. I hear you. I'm pretty sure that janitor's a spy. Could be German. No, I, I think it's just for his own personal enjoyment. And here I come again! Mopping, mopping, mop, Rooney! Scooty up All agents, please don't give Agent 13 doggy treats without making him roll over or speak. You'll spoil him. Ooh. Attention agents, for anyone with lingering character traits from... Hey, want to see your government in action? Of course not! But the great thing about the petabytes of info we've collected on each and every one of you, we can use that data to play a game. 
Come on, you don't even have to catch a ball or nothing. Let's play... Espionage! Time to play! Who's up first? Typey typey! What percentage of people have left Christmas trees up beyond January 31st? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. We have an answer. 25%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Ooh. Breathe it in. Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... 31%! It's the same percentage of people who love their floors covered with brown pine needles. Who said higher? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in! We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have eaten a Hot Pocket in the past month? Oh, and don't forget to answer the question too, audience. Every answer counts. Time's a wasting. 42%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Everyone is saying lower. Okay, right answer is... 18%! Only 18? What a bunch of snobs. Who got it right? Here's some points! Who's next? I'm going to search... What percentage of people have returned to restaurants or businesses because they were attracted to someone working there? Twenty-one percent. Okay, higher or lower? It in. I hear you. Just one person says lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 53%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Next up. I hear you. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people have gotten into online altercations with strangers? Fifty-six percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. Everyone thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is... 72%! That was a respectable guess. You got it right. Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? Ooh. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people only go to the dentist when something is wrong? Yeah. 
34%. Everyone pick higher or lower. Breathe it in. I hear you. One lonely vote for lower. And the correct answer is... 53%! No one believes me when I say it, but it all comes down to flossing. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the score. I hear you. Breathe it in. Time for round two. Let's start with you. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people have used sporks more than 10 times in their lives? Okay, we have a guess. 17%. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll still have our respects, I guess. Breathe it in. Woo. Unanimously higher. And Surveil says... 7%! These are the people known in the trade as sporkers. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Who's next? Breathe it in. Alright, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of callers prefer total silence to music when on hold with customer service? Thirty-three percent. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Running out of time. I hear you. Everyone says higher except for one of you. Okay, let's see the right answer. 21%! Yeah, okay, that'll get you some points. Ah, that's too bad. That answer was closer than 15%. Shouldn't have doubled down. Okay, who's up next? What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know! In the past year, what percentage of people have flipped through hard copy phone books? Fifteen percent. Alright, what do you think? It in. Ooh, I hear you. Just one of you is saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 32%! Hard to believe they still print those things. I guess something's got to go in the bottom drawer of a kitchen. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Next up! I hear you. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people can fully arch their left and right eyebrows independently of each other? 
50%. Okay, higher or lower. Ooh. Breathe it in. One of you thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is... 42%. That may raise some eyebrows. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Who's next? Ooh. This one is for the true artiste. What percentage of men manscape their body hair? Everyone else, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Right down the middle. And the correct answer is... 60%? I mean, I once shaved a dolphin into my chest hair. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. And what have we here? Well done. Double points for guessing much higher. It's time for the final round. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. What mythical creature is people's favorite? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Good luck! If you're in the audience, how you answer the question will affect who gets points. Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Let's see what answers you chose. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Who's that special someone? Breathe it in. Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance I've ever surveyed. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. All soda is called Coke, until you need to be specific. So you tell a waitress, give me a Coke. And I'll get a Coke. But if I'm saying I'm going to go get a Coke... You might get a Mountain Dew. Exactly. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. All right. it in. 
Say, Rob, do you ever think there are people out there listening in on our conversations? Are you asking if I think there's people eavesdropping on the eavesdroppers? Yeah, I guess. Wow, that's pretty meta. But there could be, right? I mean, sure. I I guess there could be a group of people gathered in a room listening to our conversations at this very moment. But I find that hard to believe. That would mean this group of work associates or friends or family members would presumably have nothing better to do right now than to circle around and listen to our inane conversations. Yeah, I suppose that's a pretty silly thought. I mean, how pathetic would that group have to be? They could be enjoying each other's company, but instead they're actually listening to us. I guess you'd have to be a pretty pathetic group to do that. Exactly. They're the type of people I'd hate to be at a party with. I bet they're the type of party that puts out a veggie tray. A veggie tray. Yeah, and they probably have a pre-scheduled time for when the party ends. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Time to mosey on out. Oh, just thinking about a party like that bums me out. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. Me too. A group that would actually listen in on our dumb conversations? What losers. I wouldn't have thought 55% though. Are you sure about those numbers? Oh yeah. It may not make sense to us, but that's how people under 30 eat corn on the cob. But why do you need a parasol? It doesn't work otherwise. Hey, Dimitri, you watch The Americans? Um, yes, every day. That show is nuts. All the makeup and wigs and their whole wardrobe is crazy, right? I don't know. I look at metadata. I don't know from wigs and makeup. No, Dimitri, I I know you watch Americans. I'm talking about The Americans on TV. But there is always Americans on TV. Do all of them wear wigs now? No, no, I... It's a TV show. It's not average Americans walking down the street. Yes, this would be stupid. We see this already on the closed-circuit security camera. Do you even own a television? No, not since end of Seinfeld. Okie dokie. Good talking to you, Dimitri. Yes, good talk. Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and registered trademark sign. That'll work. What does that mean? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. 